Saladin did loads of nice things, like the uh, the oh, English, yeah. anyways. Like they were, we were all our higher ups were all really ill because yeah. we hadn't had any food or water. I mean, everyone's like getting really sick, and oh, Saladin yeah. sent chilled fruit to huge uh, amounts of the upper echelon of command. I saw like he did shit like that. Fucking, and like, then we and then we basically uh, captured a car, or acre, how you want to say it, and we set up a. Execution parlor outside the city gates <laughs> where Saladin was camped, like not far away, to execute people in front of his army to demoralize them. And he charged the front lines, which we baited him, and we defeated his army then. And he moved back and recouped. I, I was such cunts. I just don't like the British. Sorry, I swore. But that, uh, it's unbelievable. The British were just like, well, the British, the English, the Saxons, whatever. The Christians. Probably the Saxons, just the Christians. Say it. Let's go completely. Out, let's go completely out of our comfort zone. Yeah. And try and conquer. Some places aren't there to be conquered. Russia ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Is it because it's too big? Afghanistan, not gonna happen. Well, nowhere should be conquered, to be honest. No. But like, no. Except the, the, America. Of, let's take it back. Other places that people have tried. Yeah. Afghanistan, that ain't gonna happen. I mean, in terms of the Middle East. Russia tried to invade Afghanistan. Russia is fucking huge. Yeah. And Afghanistan was like, nope. Afghanistan's pretty big. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, not big. It's though. pretty barren, though. Russia's bigger than pretty much everywhere else. Yeah, Russia's the biggest land. Is it? No, is it China? Oh my god. The Weeping Willow. Harry! Um, Run, Harry! I don't like this oh, wait, wrong game. Wrong franchise. Trying to invade a desert. Not, right. not, not the easiest thing to do. Uh. I don't know. We can't sleep yet. Lawrence of Arabia did it. Place. Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, Lawrence of Arabies. This is a boss fight. He might Lawrence. kill me. What the fuck? Where are they gone? <laughs> did he smack me against the wall? He's dead. Yeah, they're in its mouth. Oh. Oh my god, they are in its mouth. Oh hey, yeah. mouth. Yeah. Old man Willow. Old man. Yes, old man Willow. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason to Oh, is this what? There's a deleted scene, isn't there? He's fucking you up. There's a deleted scene, I think, in um, Lord of the Rings, or in the extended edition, where he's talking. Mary talks about Old Man Willow. Yeah. Shepherds of the Forest. Wow, you have a lot of drugs. I know, but there's no rhyme or reason to it. Got you. <laughs> no. That's so dickish. Do you think of, like the British Empire? We just made a lot of fucking bad decisions. Yeah, yeah. Like America. No, we didn't make any. We didn't make bad. We just wanted to raise, you know, yeah. our landmass. America, right? if you'd given them some representation, they might have not rebelled. Well, I can't. Remember. I don't. I never read into it. I'm fascinated to learn about why Americans betrayed us. The bloody Yanks. <laughs> I'm not gonna like not Freedom? dig into the history of it. The main reason was. Um, was no was representation taxation not. without representation. Yeah. Well. So you're being taxed by the British. Well, it's also the idea that they didn't... And it's still weird to begin with because we found the place. No, the British didn't find the place. The British found the place or the Portuguese? The Portuguese found it. Christopher Columbus found it. No, Christopher Columbus found South America. Okay. He didn't find North America. Who landed there? It's the Spanish. But... Oh, fuck it. Christopher Columbus, everyone's like, he found America! The British, he found South America. The British moved in. Oh, yeah. the Caribbeans. The British moved in. Yeah. To America. Yeah. Uh -huh. And a lot of other people came along oh, as well. You bastard. Yeah. yeah. Everyone shit. universally fucked over the Aborigines. Oh, when don't we? Fuck they, we Australia. Like everyone, like everyone moved in, and not one person went. The Aboriginals were just like the Aboriginals. Are they dead? Oh shit, hold on one sec, hold that thought. Here's oh, is this, it me? Here's this rapist. Oh, steady there, little fellows. Oh, come now, tell me what's your trouble. My friends are caught in that willow tree. I'm doing everyone's lines now. I know the rhyme for him, I'll chant his marrow call if he don't behave himself. You should not be waking. Eat earth, drink water, go to sleep. Bombadil is talking! Didn't subtitle that shit. Could you please find some? I'll find it for you. I'll find royalty free club music and you just can overlay it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom Bombadil! <laughs> 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 like a light show. 
Well, I like the Tom Bombadil uh, music thing. Oh, Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, and all that shit. Yeah. yeah. So, so cock, cock, lock him cellar. What? <laughs> people moved into America. Uh, Everyone yeah. moved there. People emigrated. Migrated to America. Invaded. Invaded. Killed the Indians. Migrated. Well, say invaded. Native Americans. Invaded, yeah. and then other people migrated there. Yeah. Because obviously the second set of people aren't technically invading because they've already been done. But I invade twice. Um, oh. The Puritanicals. Tell that to the Crusaders. The, Puritan, the Puritans turned up and were like, super Christianity for everyone because Britain's a cesspit of scenery. Yeah. yeah. People often mistake. The British become the ruling. Oh, this is where I need to read up on this. The British are ruling the country. Disputed by the French. Yeah. Okay. Because the French come there often, and they're like, this is our land, and then we go, no, we yeah. shoot them. But people who live house. there came from Britain. Yeah, essentially. But obviously they wanted it to be a free land. Of freedom. We basically just got some of the prime locations and just, you know, boned like crazy, like some crazy wild hares, just boning all day and night. And, and the natives... Populous. Americans just got fucked. Oh yeah, they did. Well, we, we just... you know, a lot of them get wiped out by diseases passed over from Europe. Yep. Like yeah. brought over. Diseases brought over because we were flea-ridden cesspits of scum. We caused Nate. I'm... So we destroyed their purity almost. Yep. Yeah. And also it. the fact that we had, they had like bows and arrows, and we had muskets. Oh, yeah, that was. And gunpowder. That does the trick. Thank you, China. You also help fight China. Yeah, but not all Native Americans were all this, like, everyone's like, we ruined them. Not all of them were sweet little love, lovely people, were they? You've got people like the Troglodytes. Who oh, were the cannibals. Great, the cannibal people who lived in caves. We used to eat other people. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but no also, really there's not for us to drink them. Huh? That's the way they survived. That's the way we survived, by killing other people. Yeah. Who, how, who are they to judge me? <laughs> I'm gonna go shoot them! <laughs> I can eat whoever I want. Yeah. This way... Uh, I shoot your family and then you cut off my son's scalp. I'm gonna kill more of you. I was weird about. I watched. Uh, you haven't seen Wind River, have you? No. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, didn't ah. realize that. Ah. Obviously, it's what the movie said, so it might not be true. But it probably is. <laughs> it's kind of ah. fucked up. The um, movie said that obviously the um, on a reservation. Oh Indian, no, the American Indian me. reservation. Yeah. Um, and go. And they're basically saying if they can't say that this is a murder, right? Whether this person is, she's been like stabbed and she runs for like ten miles out into the wilderness, right? Passes out the like. If we can't get the coroner to say this is murder, yeah, the FBI can't investigate. Oh. <laughs> the investigation, because it's on a reservation, has to be done by that the police sense. of the reservation. Okay. Which is like one dude. Right. Um, and the coroner says, basically says, she's died of the cold. She may have been stabbed and whatever. What's well, murder, it? Yeah, but she, well, she's got, she's been stabbed. Yeah. But she, she went out and died. Herself. Her physical death is hypothermia. The right. coroner can't say like this is murder, right? Because you don't know whether she would have died or not. Okay. She might have been stabbed like twenty. Was, she might have been stabbed twenty times. This is been set in modern times. It's back in. Yeah, it's modern times. Sure, there's, there's um, laws against that. It's, it's, it's led to. No, it's, it's like saying it's not saying that they're, he's saying it's not murder. He just can't say that the oh, cause the of cause her of, death is yeah, a murder okay, okay. because, and they have to say that so the FBI would investigate. Right. So he's basically saying if you don't tell us it's a murder, I it's just me. I can't get a team of people to come down and investigate. Yeah. If it's a murder, I can say you've got to come in. Let's just say, but it's not. It's like we can't, I can't say it's a murder because she died of hypothermia. Right. Um. So they have to, she just investigates with Jeremy Renner or whatever. Okay. But at the end, it also says that the American government um, keeps a list of everyone who goes missing. If you go missing, you get put on the list. Yeah. For every race, gender, whatever, apart right. from American Indians. Uh, apart from American Indians? Or uh, Native Americans. Native Americans. Not, yeah. not Native Americans. Um, they don't keep that list. Why? There is no, they just don't. That's for Native Americans to do. Okay. So Native American women can just go missing. Slightly by And there's nothing done about it. Well, is that their wishes? No. That's what the film just ends with. It's like there's basically saying the American government keeps these records. Except for was that the point of the film as well or 
Yeah, kind of. All right. The point of the film is kind of like look at basically how we've just fucked over these fucked people. Over these yeah. And also, Jeremy Renner is the white guy who gets to come in and help out. Yeah. Jeremy Renner is a white guy who's basically he's like the Kevin Costner of the film. Yeah, he's basically his character is like I dances hunt in these lands, and I am he's like a park ranger. He's got a hunting rifle as well. He's got. He's like. He, I understand the Native American people. He's called Dances with Avengers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she's also in Avengers. Uh, well, that sounds like a groovy film. I might give it a watch. I heard it was kind of mediocre, unfortunately. That's why it's straight uh, away. It's really. It's, it's, it's oh, good. It's not that much. I want to say it's incredible. It's fairly good. Yeah. Anyways, back to organized crime in Japan. <laughs> uh, interesting talks, wasn't it? Uh, basically, interesting talk for the most bland game ever. Yeah, I don't get what you're supposed to be doing. I'm collecting. What, haven't you guys been paying attention? No, I have to collect water lilies to like getting good with uh, goldberry. God, that's so fucking Tom boring. Tom squeeze. Oh, <laughs> she's a hottie. I think there's a reason they didn't make a game out of the first movie as a licensed product. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Fuck. Because the only action scene that happens with like swords and stuff, well, kind of Moria, but is yeah. the end. Well, the thing is, this is probably like one sentence in the book, and they've spread it out to 20 minutes of gameplay. I don't think there was spiders in the first place. Organized book. crime. a lie. Go. Yeah. Organized crime. You tried talking about it about 20 times. So Alright, so my segue was talking about Japan. Segu. Uh, I think Japan have the fucking, like, the most transparent yeah. organized crime yakuza. in the yeah. world. Yeah, the Yakuza. It's just madness, really. Oh, boys. Watched a couple of documentaries on it uh, recently. Oh well, I said recently, like a year ago. I still remember. This is fascinating. Like they have magazines dedicated to the Yakuza bosses, like celebrity magazines. And you know how you get these ones like, oh, Angelina Jolie is looking a little chubby these days. <laughs> like things like that. I don't know if she is or not. By the way, sorry, Angelina, if you're watching this. Sure she is. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, she's number just, one viewer. She sat at home one day. She's like. I remember this video game from 2001. From 2002. Oh shit, Idiot. too. Yeah, sorry. Oh, she was thinking of the Harry Potter game. And then she goes on to. we've done, but we haven't done yet. Goes tip, tip, tap, tap, tap. Goes, oh, these guys are talking. These motherfuckers are talking about me. Right, that's liable. These that's character. fucking spiders. It's character defamation. You can't call Angelina Jolie a Spider Man. So you were saying before you got sidetracked. Yeah, so it's like, like celebrity magazines. The Yakuza have this insane, like, just open-ended crime organization. They have several families, Yakuza families, uh, who just, the police allow, completely allow them to do crime. And it's very well, very well known. Just get to do the crime. Each, yeah, do crime, like drugs, um, to prostitution, mm. uh, violence. But yeah. they do it for only the reason that they, you know, they get protection money. Yeah. And anyone steps out of line, they essentially go and just fucking even hurt yeah, them. When you're lining someone's or, pockets, it becomes a lot easier yeah. to look the other way. I'll kill them. And most of these people... Do you kill them with walking sticks? That's why I'm worried. Yeah, of course. That's the only weapon that you can use. In the and also, if you remember the very important lesson learned from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, um, if you can go faster than 50 kilometers an hour, the police just won't bother to try and catch you. It's very true. You know this. Tokyo Drift. Thank you, Tokyo Drift. Thank you, family films. It's uh, Tokyo! <laughs> <laughs> But it's just, it's bizarre. They have so many businesses and whatnots. And the only thing the police say that they are against, or uh, people in these documentaries saying. Is good policing. Yeah, no, it's paedophilia. <laughs> hey, oh, it's paedophilia. Touch of the kiddies. Like, hey, you gotta, cro you gotta draw a line somewhere. Yeah, they said, don't do that. You can buy their underwear and sniff it. But, what? The, the Yakuza sniff children's underwear. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, that Yakuza, come get me. Yeah, they sell used underwear? Oh. They yeah, sell they sell used underwear. Yeah, it's Japan. Yeah, well, just like sound surprised by that. <laughs> so what's so weird about the, the Battle Royale is kind of like a, if you look at Battle Royale, yeah, kind of an optimistic movie from a Japanese point of view, because they're like, this is a dystopian future where we have too many kids. <laughs> and yes, I would like to just, kill them all. Just imagine the th imagine the thought of us having too many kids. Too many kids. They literally oh. can't get any of their kids to fuck. What's well, that thing we learned? Sorry. Like me and Hoppo used to do geography together in college. Japanese people don't do sex. They do not do the sex. Was it? It was in human geography, and it was. There was Why not? Called, it was. It was it human demographic. What was it? It was a graph. Shit, we do the sex. Their but it's the. Is it mean the birth and the death rate? Essentially, yeah. Yeah, their it, birth rate has been below their death rate for 
a long time. Yeah, it's thirty yeah. years maybe. Yeah. A long Basically, time. if your birth rate is below your death rate, then you're gonna run out of people. So this this chart was made in like the eighties or something or other, and it's just basically equating how well society's doing in terms of the, uh, well, as functioning society. Kids they have. Yeah, what stage of society they're in, due to their birth and death rates. And when you're in medieval times, you have shitloads of kids. So stage one is just basically caveman times. And it's just, you know, you have very little kids, lots of deaths. Because it's just hunter survivor gathering shit. Then stage two of society is when you have things like the Dark Ages. Yeah. And you've got people having tons and tons of kids. Yeah, because like, they had nothing gonna... else. To, they literally had nothing else to yeah, do. Yeah. It I'm... was like, I live in abject poverty. Might as well bone. Might as well bone. My uh, wife's got no teeth, but you know. <laughs> Might as well bone. Might Just as a well. dick in. Oh, God! <laughs> Get some dick in. Get some dick in. This guy over here is a monster. But that's what they had. Like, that's all they had to do. When people had nothing else to think about apart from, I'm going to go out and farm a field, come home, might as well have sex. Yep. No protection. You don't like to stick your pig intestine over there your There are penis. Saxons here killing everyone. I'm just going to try and fuck yeah. as much as I can. Also, though, it's to increase your odds of having an actual child. Because, as we all know, back then you had like eight kids and only one survived. Maybe one yeah. and a half. Only that half one we don't talk one about him. didn't get taken by the tuberculosis and the consumption. Yep. I think pretty much was the same thing. And being fucked to death by a Saxon. More yep. Fucked <laughs> to death by a Saxon. Yep. yep. So, and then the stage three is sort ah! of... um Crabs. Anything between Tom Bob uh, probably the being probably the Enlightenment ages, like the Renaissance ages in Did Italy. Did you come from Tom Bob? No, they don't. They don't. That's kind of when you get like a middle ground. That's when you get a middle like ground. The birth rate is just above the death rate. But it's very so it's like, everyone. You're talking like the 1800s, like uh, the just near the industrial age. Well, the industrial age. You don't get rapid expansion. Pre World War Two. Shit. So it's not rapid expansion. It evens itself out. There's lots of people around, but, you know, hey-ho, every now and then you get Spanish, something like Spanish flu, and it fucking kills everyone. It's like when people have, like, work to do, and they actually think about whether to have kids or not. Yeah, that's the beginning phase. decide, the smart people decide not to. Yep. Stage four is what England is in. America is sort of in it. Uh, and stage four is when you, ha when you have pretty much even birth death rate. Exactly even because yeah. you've got more people focusing on careers, you've got a more functioning We just society. have like the aging population and having kids, so it's just all going up. Oh yeah, yeah. So it starts going up. And then you get into oh fuck you get to Oh shit oh, yeah, which Japan, is Japan, which is like they can't get their computer obsessed teenage boys to get out and stick some dick in. Yeah, it's the women apparently who go out and, you know, Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the females the women, cause they, are like, cause predators in that predators. society. They <laughs> are, literally. They will hunt for, like, a, a a, date raping. Not date raping, but they will... They'll be because the, it's what? This the is, main aggressors when it comes this is to, like, making the first approach yeah. to, yeah. like, men. And also, they can be a lot more picky. Like, obviously, not, like, but... Boys they can just go out and say, like, they just go and choose, like, you need to have a good job and a lot of money to be able to go out with me. And imagine, it, Max, the way Max portrays them, and, like, really, like, saying the predators, I just imagine a Japanese woman coming up to someone at a barn going, Boy in a bush. <laughs> no, no, she's at a barn going, <laughs> Me and you go move a... home together. And we get someone's like, Oh, yes! And she's Great. like a beast. Oh, there's God. A, there's a vice. Come uh, here, Bombadil. There's an episode on Vice on YouTube. Just and it's looking at like the the sex like industry in Tokyo. Yeah. And there's one which is just I got you, a guy, like a smartly dressed guy. Yeah. Will just go to a, basically you pay to have an evening with him, not sex. Okay. So you just go to a bar. Yeah. There's a smartly dressed guy who's gonna buy you a drink. Yeah. And like three, two, three women will just spend the evening with him. But at the like, same time, he'll just entertain them, like have yeah, a conversation with them, and like have drinks with them and stuff. That's bizarre, isn't it? Oh, just really to have nice. them like returns to return to Bombdill, Max. Female, male, 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 female. There you go. Female there you go. God. Okay. Yeah, it's just uh, the just one. companion companionship. Yeah. yeah. That's really. Yeah. Let's go. Japan is just. Weird. So there's no stage six. Stage six, well, obviously, the, nuclear, extinction. the nuclear holocaust is stage <laughs> six. Stage six is nuclear holocaust. I think stage six was Donald Trump is president. And then for some reason, he doesn't say anything else after that. No. 